Hello everybody! Today is first of many unboxings and I'm super excited for the brand that I'm starting off with. So if you guys have seen my past vlog, I did go to Vegas um, with my family. It was just during Thanksgiving week. And there were a whole bunch of stores that we went into and successfully purchased things. And so I'm probably going to separate each of the videos um, either by like item or brand. But in today's video, it is all off-white. Um, it's just two items that I got myself and I'm excited to share it with you guys. Um, some of you might have heard Virgil Abloh, who is the artistic director of both Off-White and the men's collection of Louis Vuitton. He actually passed away from cancer. And so that was just crazy news because we had just like come back and I'm like such a huge fan of Off-White and to hear that he passed at such a young age too it was just really sad and, and I know that a lot of big fashion people um, who are in the industry or just big fans of Off-White or Louis Vuitton or streetwear in general I know that everyone was very devastated so I just thought I would address that I just pray that um, his family and people that were close to him are doing okay. So with that being said, the first thing that I'm going to unbox, I actually got off of Nordstrom. Um, I ordered it online and it came in the mail just the other day. I had been searching for this item for a while, but they didn't have my size in store every time I checked. So I just kept looking online and while I was in Vegas, it actually showed up that there was one left and so in European sizes I'm a 39 usually it kind of depends on the shoe but for this specific one I was waiting for a 39 so here's the box it's just in a Nordstrom box they're wrapped in plastic here's the bottom so I don't give it away and we have the slides they're just the plain black, it has their off-white logo. It's like how the band on the top says off. I actually didn't know, but when they came in the mail, I tried them on and compared to most other slides, these ones actually have like a really good like supporting arch on the sole of the shoe. And I found that to be a bonus because I have flat feet and so it feels better when I'm walking around and I can feel that arch support. You can kind of see like in the shadow right here, there's like a little arch. But yeah, I've been wanting just a pair of these slides because um, when I'm teaching at my studio, sometimes I don't want to just wear sneakers all the time. I want to be able to have socks on and throw slides on just easily. So that's one of the reasons why I just wanted a plain black pair. Um, obviously dance floors get really dirty. And so that's why I didn't get like the baby pink ones that they have. Black ones are just, safer and i'm happy with them also like during the summer i know it's winter right now but during the summer i'll be wearing them a lot obviously because slides are like a summer shoe they did recently come out with another version of this slide it's like the exact one but the writing and the print it's in orange and it's cute because that's off-white's like main color they use orange a lot but I feel like with the black slide and then the orange writing, it kind of looked Halloween-ish. And for just a basic pair, I prefer black and white. So I'm happy that these suddenly appeared in my size and I can't wait to wear them. It was either between these off-white ones or Balenciaga. Balenciaga has a whole bunch of different colors, but um, I actually was comparing these ones to the ones that my mom has because she has the black Balenciaga ones with metallic writing and these actually feel a lot better quality actually. Hers don't really have this arch support. They feel a little flatter. So that's another reason why I'm glad I got off-white. In the past, I've told myself that I wouldn't spend like an excessive amount on designer slides just because slides are most of the time just rubber and rubber is rubber. And it seems kind of silly to spend a lot on just slides that you can pretty much buy anywhere. But I just love off-white. I'm very excited to wear these. There's no reason why I wouldn't like them or wear them a whole bunch. Eventually, I'll do a little review to see like how I like them or how well they're holding up, but they're pretty basic and I should be super happy with them. They're off-white, one of my favorite brands, so I'm excited for that. The next thing that I'm gonna unbox, it's wrapped in like a clear bag, so I can't really show, but I'll block it in this little package they're known for like having circle cutouts in a lot of their bags and stuff it's funny that they incorporate that in their little packaging here
And we got off-white earrings. Here's a closer look at them. I feel like in this light, you can't really see how shiny and pretty they are. I chose to go with these silver ones because I was looking at the gold ones in the store and it more has like this brassy finish to it. It's not super shiny and these ones were. They're just basic like stud earrings, but I feel like the off-white logo is just like a cute edgy look and it goes with my look, I think. I'll actually try and put them on right now. I have other earrings on, but we'll see. Oh, so here on this card, it says that the material is 100% brass. So even though they are brass, these ones are still just much shinier than the gold ones that they had on display. So I'm just going to take out the earring. Okay, I finally got the back of the earring off. It was kind of hard because these are brand new ones. You can't really see, but it does say off-white behind the earring. I'm filming on my phone, so it's not really focusing, but... That's what it looks like. Okay, so I got them on. From taking them off, I can't really tell if they're a screw back or not, or if I'm just scared to like pull the back of the earring off. I'll have to just look better at that because I feel like I was pulling really hard, but once I started twisting, it came off. Okay, so I got them on and I really love them they're like a bigger earring so it covers like my entire earlobe which is good and i also wear my hair up a lot so they'll definitely show i don't always like wear my hair down i actually like barely wear my hair down only when i'm like actually getting ready or going somewhere like that's not like an errand or work or anything but yes i'm super happy with both items i love off-white so much eventually i want to expand my shoe collection with the off-white sneakers off-white collabs with like so many brands especially nike and obviously i love nike hopefully nothing tarnishes or anything like changes colors with these earrings because i do take off my earrings my rings my bracelets when i shower um i keep this necklace on it's a van cleef and arpels necklace it is solid gold and then this is mother of pearl and i just like to keep that necklace on but for my earrings that are like either fashion jewelry or silver um i just take them off like this bracelet i take off obviously this one is like canvas so i take most of my stuff off so these should last a long time it's good because a lot of my jewelry or earrings i tend to go for the gold look but these are a nice change and my skin isn't too sensitive to a lot of metals only sometimes my ears will get irritated but it doesn't really have to do with any metals also if you plan on going into an off-white store or i don't know how it is in like nordstrom or neiman marcus or wherever they sell off-white products but their jewelry is final sale i don't know if that's just how it was at the off-white store that i went to which was at the win hotel but as i was actually like inserting my card to pay for them um i was like what's the return policy and she was like oh they're final sale and i had like no regrets that i wanted them i walked in there knowing that i wanted to for sure get like some sort of off-white accessory so there's no way that i'm returning these um there's also like no option to so i'm definitely keeping these earrings i am keeping my slides and hopefully there is more to come from off-white i'm excited to do more of my unboxings for you guys there's maybe going to be like three or four more from the vegas trip and obviously like christmas is coming up so hopefully you guys will enjoy those so i don't really know what happened but the video got cut off short actually when i was filming this video a few days ago when i was recording my phone completely shut off it like turned black and then it had the little loading thing going i was just sitting there panicked for about five seconds and then my phone turned back on by itself and the video was not in my photo album and so i was stressed because i was thinking i was gonna have to record the whole thing over again a few hours went by and then i checked my camera roll just to see if it had popped up and it actually did so that was good because i really didn't want to record that unboxing the whole other time and i know that happens to a lot of other people too where they have to redo their whole video because either their camera died or some other glitch happened but it actually happened to me um i don't know what this phone's problem is but it tends to restart on its own a lot i'm just thankful that the video saved 
itself but it did get cut off a little short which was why that was kind of an abrupt ending it was pretty much like all the way over but it was just missing official outro so this is my little outro to you guys i know that those were two basic items but i can't wait to use those slides and my earrings again i definitely want to get more off-white things especially their clothing um, it's very like streetwear, very masculine, feminine styles. I tend to like to mix the two and there's just a bunch of urban sweatshirts, hoodies, sweatpants, t-shirts that I'm hoping I can get soon. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and please leave a comment down below or any questions that you guys might have. Feel free to ask them and I'll see you guys in my next videos.